Why, hello, and welcome to my show. This is Artful Thing, and I am your host, Serena. Let's get started. Hello again, it's Serena from Artful Things, and just like I promised, I told you I was going to show you each and every luscious page of this adorable, cute, and I'm going to call it my Tiny Junkie Thoughts Journal. <laughs> it's a working title. Anyway, um, again, I was doing another bag um, project and I had some scraps from that and I I can't throw away cute stuff or cute scraps so I took this and this is what this became isn't that awesome I went from this to this I enjoy making and creating something out of nothing well, here's the thing. I usually have so many scraps. Oh, sorry about that. I was opening the door. Anyway, I usually have so many scraps that you don't know what to do with it. Now, another thing, too, is um, I received a sewing machine last Christmas. And this whole bit about sewing fabric on paper it's just fascinating to me it just gives it a whole look about it and Tim Holtz has the greatest uh, ephemera and I enjoy using his ephemera on something that you would just probably toss out and make something beautiful also packaging materials sewing and some beads a little bit more sewing. This is a, a, a one signature. Um, yeah, one signature. I don't see someone doing more than that. And the back, more ephemera and fabric and sewing. You have all the textures, all the texture for someone to say, I don't know what that is, but I like it. This was so appropriate. National Letter Writing Week, October 1st through the 7th. Interesting. I also have a crocodile. So that's where that little pen is. I, I just adore it. And if you're wondering, this little jewel will be listed in my Etsy shop and it will be for sale with all of its cuteness. Let's go inside. Let's go inside. Like I said, I love that. Okay, so um, and a little later on, I'm going to show you how I did my own uh, fabric die cutting cutesy pies. I did this with my scraps with my um, from my quilting, but that's another story. Okay, uh, I love texture, so this is um, I think wax paper. I embossed it with embossing folder. And then uh, stamped it, stamped it again, cut it out. I just love that effect. And you're like, wow, that's cool. And then you open the page and it's like, oh, wow, choose to see the good stuff. Again, scrap busters. I had a lot of just odds and, in and odds and ends in this box of mine. Like that's a, a die cut from, I don't know. I love these little clips. They're from Tim Holtz. They're cute. So you get that. And this little tiny love note. Another scrap buster because I have this box of paper that I cannot throw away.
I once said this, that I enjoy having my own handy artwork in everything I do because, you know, it just makes me feel good. So I hand draw, I hand draw on this lovely little lady. And if you ask me, I, I think she's ready for the bar. What's going on, cutie? Okay. Now, I once said in a previous video that there are times when I want to do some artwork, but yet I don't want to put a lot of time in it. And um, in the beginning of this video, I showed you how I would take something, a uh, you know, plain index card and also a plain tag and turn it into something like this. And then I will stick it in one of the junk journals. And then you can write on it. I got a bunch of these, you guys. A bunch. In a box that's waiting for a home. And here we go. These are the ones that made it. I love this one because a bunch of reasons. One, I got this little dice set that you can just dress these dolls up in anything. So, again, scrap buster. I got this box. So everything is scrapped. If you promise to go away, I promise to stop ignoring you. <laughs> yes. Oh, and then, you know, you turn it on the back, and then, you know, you can just write a note. Like, I like that. <laughs> or put it in a book, you know, like a bookmark or whatever. A place for you to journal. Journal. Another one of those really cute little card things I was telling you about. I love that. That's a Tim Holtz die. Uh, again, I got so much junk scrap. I was just punching it. It's just, you can just get rid of everything. Scrap Buster. Journal card. Remember the now. More of that paper. I just love texture. I love texture. And I also enjoy getting rid of stuff like that flower and then this. Ain't that precious, y'all? I think it's... Love it, love it, love it. Just pretty, pretty, pretty paper. Layered and sewn. I must have been in a good mood that day. Mm -mm. Another place where you can journal. Double-sided paper. Another one. Create a little texture there. Look at there. Again, you can just take these out or just give them to somebody. Go here, you know. I don't know. Here here I don't know why I just again like texture and then maybe because I like you to know where I've been or maybe I was just paying homage to the bag there's sprout deli paper don't ask me okay here we go and there's Jack in the Box because I like Jack in the Box and so yeah another bookmark keep moving forward I love that another cute bookmark you know, oh, use your wings. Mm -hmm. I like that. And then you can stick it in a book. You just stick it in a book. A doily, because you have to have one. What can I say? A paper. I love these glassine little bags. And I don't, I don't buy them. Wherever the fast food store I'm at, I just get them. And then you do stuff with them. And then you put it in here. And then you go, look what i done. Isn't it precious? I think you look better on this side. Okay. Precious, precious. Again, you could just give this to someone and they'll be like, what? But then it, it came from the heart because I, I said the same thing too. Um, I'm sorry. I'm kind of going ahead of things. Um, Here we go. Sorry. Sorry. Here's some vellum. You know what? Is that right here? You can sit over there. Here's some vellum paper. Tim Holtz. A bag. Also, a little coupon. Which, I don't know. I must have been really happy that day. <laughs> and this is telling on me because, yeah, that's an old coupon. Another bag that you can put stuff in. Oh, yeah, and then this is the middle, by the way. Yeah. Sewing. Again, sewing machine. Anyway, I, I this is this has been with me for a minute. 
<laughs> I love this one. I wish I was as thin as my patient. <laughs> scrap buster. Scrap. This whole thing is a scrap buster. And journaling in the back. Okay, scrap buster and fabric buster. And yeah, I made a I like Batman and I made a Batman thing for somebody. For little notes. Batman. Batman. Also, we have another um journaling card with um some really neat texture. The sewing, which I totally love. And, uh, yeah, like I said, a little journaling card. Again, more sprouts because I like sprouts. And I just love deli paper. Batman, another little thing with another little tag with all kinds of little sewing and I also have a little Batman pocket love it love it again scrap busters for fabric and paper I love this little die set that I have because it just again you can just dress these little girls up in the cutest stuff and I just adore it with some more trim another bookmark and some little things. More deli paper. Stamps. A little writing there. Need a bit more artwork. Look at her. She's just precious. A little bit more texture. Listen to your heart. Isn't that the truth, you guys? Listen to your heart. The what is it? Live the life you imagine. Oh, more of that paper with the emboss. This is my happy place. And there you have it. It's so cute. Again, I I think I'm gonna call it my tiny junky junk journal thoughts. <laughs> I don't know. I I think it just would make just such a cute gift for someone that, or even for yourself. <laughs> this will be in my Etsy shop, so please stay tuned. Now, after this video, I plan on showing you how to, a little tip it. Like I said, a little tip it on how I made that washi tape and uh here's just an example so stay tuned and thank you again for watching please subscribe or hit that like button and share it with all your friends on social media this is serena from artful things and i'm happy to share my art with you i love you too Alrighty, just like I promised, I was going to show a quick little tidbit tutorial on how to make your own homemade washi tapes. It's definitely a great idea because if you're a sewer or a crafter and you love to deal with um, materials and fabrics, you kind of are stuck with a lot of um, scraps. Now, I love this bit because you can customize it any way you want and you give your pathetic little scraps like these a home <laughs> something to do my whole thing is if they don't make it to the washer sheet then they go into the trash it's, it's kind of hard okay so the things you would need for this really cool project is a little bit of fusible web heat and bond 
such as this. Okay, scraps, of course. And here I am, which is right here. I uh, love doing little quilts and stuff, and I always have all of these scraps. I, I really mean this. I have a problem with this. Anyway, um, just start laying. I just start laying them like I would anything. This is from a die cut. Isn't that cute? Because it is. You can be any way you want. Just be as creative as you want. The whole business of this is to get rid of these scraps. Now, I'm going to continue to lay these scraps out. And I probably will speed it up a little bit. Okay, awesome. As you can see, it's like a funky jigsaw puzzle. And the rest of these scraps, I, they're going in the trash. But the main thing is, this is going to be something really cool. All right, you got your iron. Now, you don't want to, like, run over. You want to press. So you're going to press down firmly in certain spots. You know, a little at a time. Just take your time. Press, press. This is really a cool trick. Well, actually, you know, I'm, it's out there. People do it. I like the way I do it. Okay. <laughs> Look at that. You can't even buy that in the store. Now, let's say, see that little spot right there? I, it's kind of sticky. We'll just put some here, and I think there's another little spot here. <clears throat> I'm going to do this again, but it's going to be bigger scraps. I'm, I'm not going to get so hoardy with the little scraps. Awesome. Okay, so we'll give it a good press. Right, and then just flip it over. Excuse my sniffling, I have allergies, and sometimes fabric makes me my nose run. Ouch! Okay, hot. All right, we're gonna let that cool, and then we're gonna trim it. Mm -hmm. All righty, now we're gonna trim this little boy up. You can trim it with scissors or whatever you want. I, I I tend to like the rotary cutter because it it's a good cut for me. Of course, it's always going to be somebody that's difficult. Let's um, trim it a little bit more. Why you like to do this? All right, that's good, that's good. And as you can see, it's going to be something that you can actually work with and just do little things. Now, after I, got this all, after I get this all trimmed up, I'm going to run it through my um, physics. And do some hearts. <laughs> okay.
as you see, I ran them through my Sizzic Big Cup cut, and um, well, actually, it's a sidekick, a dime machine, and <laughs> here we go. And I uh, made some die cuts and some strips. Now, check that out. Uh, you can't even buy that. And I don't know if you even want to. So that's the die cut. So as with anything, you just peel off the back. And you can do one or two things. You can um, iron it on paper. And then maybe stitch around it. Or you can just glue it down, too. It does not matter. Yes, you are still on, aren't you? So we're going to just, just for the sake of the demo, paper, as long as you don't get too crazy, right? And there you go. Oh, my God. That's so pretty. And then, uh, oh, let's see. It's beginning to feel kind of good. And then you <laughs> just peel it again. And... It's such a great, again, scrap buster, and you take whatever you see and make it pretty. Now, I'm not going to do the whole thing, but you get the gist, you know, and then you can just do that it up and whatever. So, this is my little take on homemade washi tape elements using your scrappies well i hope you really enjoyed this little tidbit and don't forget to press that like button and subscribe until then this is serena wishing you a great one